Murtalara Mat Mohamed was born in November 8, 1938. He was one of the 11 children of Mohamed Riskil and Ruwani Rahmat in Kurama quarters of Kano. He was born to a Fulani family of the Jinawa clan with the history of Islamic jurisprudence as both his great grandfather and grandfather held the title of Chief Al Kali of Kano. He had his primary education at Chikingida Elementary School, which was within the grounds of the Emir's Palace, before being transferred to Gida Makama Primary School in Kano, which was outside the palace. He then proceeded to Kano Middle School, now Rumfa College, in 1949 before attending the famous government college, now Bariwa College in Zaria, where he obtained his school certificate in 1957. At Bariwa College, Mohammed was a member of the Cadet Corps and was captain of shooting in his final year. Mohammed joined the army at the age of 19 and within 10 years on the strength of his work tick and numerous degrees and training programs. He was made colonial barely 30 at the time. After the first military coup in January 15, 1966, killing top politicians and soldiers in the country, Mohammed was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel with April and was the inspector of signals posted to Army Headquarters Lagos in a move that was partly to pacify Northerners weary about the new military regime. Mohammed was also appointed member of a post and telecommunication management committee. Mohammed played a prominent role after the first military coup, leading the soldiers from northern extraction who were unhappy with the coup where majorly people from the north were killed by soldiers who had most of them from the east mohammed opposed the regime of johnson agoni irosi which took power after a coup the date on 15 january 1966 agoni irosi brought normality back to the nation by imprisoning the coup makers and intimidating the federal cabinet into admin over the aims of government to him however many northern saw this and the reluctance of irosi to prosecute the coup leaders and the fact that the army were reportedly giving exceptional privilege to the coups as an indication of Irosi's support for the killings. Consequently, northern politicians and civil servants mounted pressure upon northern officers such as Mohammed to avenge the coup. Promulgation of degree number 54 restructuring Nigerian from a federal constitutional structure to a unit unitary structure also raised suspicions among many northern officers and Neji, Mohammed and a few others begin to contemplate separation of the northern region from the country. Ahmed, another northern soldier, mastermind a counter coup stated as a motni in Abe Okuta. A coup plotter killed Erosi and the governor of the western region, Colonel Adekunle Fajui, in Ibadan, July 29, 1966. The coup plotter then installed Lieutenant Colonel Yakub Gowan as head of state. 29th July 1975, Yakub Gowan was overthrown while attending the 12th summit of the Organization of African Union in Kampala, Uganda. Ahmed, who has just recently been made Federal Commissioner for Information, equivalent to the role of Minister for Information and Communication in today's administration, took power as the new military head of state. Moritala, with Olushegun Obasanjo as Chief of Staff, Defense Headquarters, a role which was practically the same as being Vice President, set about changing a lot of the policies and overhauling the institutions that had made Gowan unpopular in his final days in power. After emerging head of state, one of the first thing Mohammed did was to create seven additional states February 1979 1976 he also commenced plans for the handing over of power to civilians Mohammed also put in place plans to build a new federal capital territory due to Lagos being overcrowded he set up a panel handed by Justice Akinola Aguda which used the Abuja area as the new capital head of other proposed location on 4th February 1976 Mohammed announced that the federal capital would in the future move to a federal territory location of about 8,000 square kilometers in the central part of the country. Hamel was assassinated when Kuplota attacked his convoy on his way to work on Friday, February 13, 1976, bringing him to an end of his tenure. Nigerian leaders have shown him love and appreciation. He was the first Nigerian and the holy head of state to have his depiction on Nigerian currency, specifically the 20 Naira notes. The International Airport in Lagos also known Muritala Airport in his honor. In most every city or state in the country, there are streets, parks, gardens, and other monuments named after him.